camera. You can make videos, yeah, on your camera. It's awesome. All right, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the long, grueling, grueling way how to divide polynomials. But it's very important for you to understand how to divide polynomials in this manner, because if you can divide polynomials in this manner, you can divide any, any polynomial, you know, polynomial by another polynomial. So it's very helpful. I know we're gonna learn synthetic division um, in a second, but I want to show you guys at least the long way version first because this can always be your default method. So when solving this problem, uh, what I'm going to do is first thing I'm going to set up like a long division problem. X minus 3, uh, let's go a little bit further down. X minus 3 divides into x cubed plus 4x squared minus 3x minus 12. So I want to say how you know how many times can well is x minus three can that be divided into this long polynomial to the third degree? So when we're doing this, uh, we have a binomial, right? We, which one do we divide into? When it was, when you had a number, it was easy. You always just took that number and you divided everything into it, right? Here I have a binomial. I have an x minus a negative three. Well, if you guys look at this, these see all these x's. I can't divide my 3 into my x. However, I can divide my x into these x's. So I'm going to start with my first number. And that's the number I'm always going to work with as far as dividing. So if I can't divide this x into a number, it can't be divided. All right. So I look at this first. I say x, can that divide into x cubed? Yes. And yes, it can. It can go in there x squared times. And what do I mean it goes in there x squared times? Well, you can check your work. x squared times x gives you x cubed. Okay, so therefore I know is yes, x cubed goes in there x squared times because those two multiplied give me x cubed. Now, this is where we get our negative 3 back into the game. This is how we use this negative 3. When I multiply back, I got to make sure I multiply the x squared also times my negative 3. So x squared times negative 3 is a negative 3x squared. So you guys want to know where everybody makes their mistake? Well, it's right here. When you're done with that, we need to subtract the two lines, right? So everybody writes a subtraction sign. And they do x cubed minus x cubed is 0x cubed, which is 0. Then they do 4x squared minus 3x is x squared. It's plus. Okay. It is plus because what you need to notice is this is, I'm subtracting this whole line. So if you want to, you could think of this as like parentheses. I'm subtracting everything that's on this line. So therefore, that's a negative, and that now becomes a positive. I so it's really, your answer is going to be 7x squared. No? Does that make sense? No. Okay. Does that make sense at all? Let me look at it this way. Which the answer is 7x squared below? Yes. All right. all right, you're subtracting the whole line, right? That's a negative 3x, right? x squared times negative 3x. Um, 4x squared minus a negative 3x squared. Double negative makes it a what? Positive. Positive, so that's why I get a 7x squared. Just think of it this way. It's 4 minus a negative 3x oh, squared. Oh, you confused me when you put the parentheses in there. Right. Well, just the, yeah. okay. It's okay. just so normal. Length. It's just 4 minus negative 3x. But so many students don't want to go back to this negative, and they always forget it. So they just do the whatever sign's in front of there. And so now I say, could x go into 7x squared? It goes in there 7x times. 7x times x is 7x squared. 7x times negative 3 is a negative 21. x. Now I have nothing to subtract my negative 21 from, right? So that's why I can bring down a negative 3x. And I'll bring down the negative 12, just so the negative 12 is not alone. And this cancels out to 0. Again, we're subtracting the whole line, right? So 7x squared minus 7x squared is 0. Negative 3x minus a negative 2x is going to become a positive 18x. Negative 3x goes into 18x 18 times. 18 times x is 18x. 18 times negative 3 is a uh, 50, negative 54.
bring down my negative 12. This gives me 40. Negative 12 40. minus a negative 54 gives me 40. Now, do you guys remember in, what was it, like third or fourth grade, you guys did like R, where there's like five? Remainder. And like, and like, all right, so there's your remainder. So when I have a number at the end, that's going to be my remainder. So what this tells us is this binomial does not evenly divide into this polynomial. Is it 42, right? Um, that was probably like three or four times over again. Thank you. So therefore, my answer, how, this is how I write it with the remainder. My answer is x squared plus 7x plus 18 plus whatever my remainder, so we don't do like r, you just do your remainder 42 divided by your divisor, which is x minus 3. So that's going to be your final answer. Sorry. I just messed it up. Alright.